I'm gonna make some soap while we're waiting here and chatting. So we have birthdays. Where did our birthday candle go? I don't know. Oh dear. There's, a, see, there are blessings in everything. We have more. We were just thinking, wow, things are too crazy for birthdays. <laughs> now that YouTube, now that Facebook is not playing nice, we have more, more opportunities for the fun stuff. Um, He's always the optimist. So, Ann Robinson, I don't know what your first name is, but we want to sing, so I might wait just a second. Oh, I can't find the candle. I don't know where I did this. Before. Jessica says, I love your t-shirt. Thank you! <laughs> our friend Annika in Israel sent that to us. And she was watching... She's like our second grandma. And she's watching today, and it's like probably one in the morning oh, there. Oh, man, go to bed! Well, Watch us tomorrow! Um... Yeah, I was going to bring up something about the Facebook thing later because I have a question. Oh! Okay, so since I have my heart apron too, I'm doing double duty today. Because <laughs> Penny sent me this lovely heart apron oh, for Valentine's really Day. And I love it. Double and duty. since it's Valentine's Day, I'm going all glamorous with my soap making. Ooh! Got the black gloves. Oops, I got the fingers in wrong. <laughs> I can't get the fingers in. <laughs> Nice. Do I look like Vanna? <laughs> well, Vanna isn't the person I would imagine oh. in that spot. Yes, you, you do look. You look quite uh, lovely. Well, thank I was you. thinking glamorous is what I was going to say, and like, that word didn't come to me. Uh, All right, so I'm making some acne soap today because I ran out again. You guys love my acne soap. So I'm making a double batch today. Hopefully. This won't be a disaster like the last time I did this. So Joanne said, Okay, so we're strange. <laughs> oh, And we're me. proud. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> we're strange and we're proud. That could be scary. Bonnie says, Tara, you really look nice in that color. Oh, thank you. Actually, I love maroon. Maroon is my favorite color. Um, <clears throat> my first house, when I moved out on my own, the curtains were maroon and green in my little tiny house in southeastern Colorado. So Angela said your hair looks nice today. Not sure if you did something or maybe it's the cute shirt. Well, I colored it today. <laughs> Somebody else asked if you were going to let it go gray. Oh, no, I did not. That's stuff we do. Better keep your I, um, tea away from that. Don't worry. I, don't I colored it today. Your brother says she combed her hair today. I combed my Oh, thanks a lot. That's her brother <laughs> who's hassling her. See how my brother treats me? Oh, uh, Amber, I will share that link again. <coughs> so, uh, let's see. The seven days of meal plans is the one that has the enchilada recipe. Yes. And I'm sharing the one that says seven days of meal plans right now. Facebook channels at the same time. But it made me think it might be good if we had an option of somewhere you could watch the show that's not Facebook or YouTube, but if we had something that was our own, <coughs> would you guys do that if we suddenly, because I, I was a little concerned from what I saw that Facebook might not be wanting to have people's video on there anymore. Well, what they're doing is they're not showing business videos at all anymore. So the only reason why you guys are finding it is because you guys know we are on. So they're not showing us to people outside of our group and they used to show it to like everyone who searched up a specific thing but now they're not at all and they now they're, they're not they're not doing any at all so that's why i am having a cow yes heather we did hear about the, the shooting in the high school shooting in florida although um I only I saw a couple places mention uh, things and the statistic that you're saying only one of them was saying so I don't really know so but we are definitely praying for them and, and it's not a good situation for sure. Um, oh, Larisha said it's her birthday. Well, happy birthday! Well, happy birthday! <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get this mixed up. Oh, so what we thought about doing with the show is to um, maybe have a third place where people can see it in case YouTube and Facebook aren't working out well. And we thought about maybe sending out reminders in our to our newsletter group. 
So yeah, if you guys already... aren't on our newsletter, get on our newsletter because if Facebook and YouTube really mess up one day, we can tell you through our newsletter. Sandy says, I watch y'all anywhere. Well, what's happened is, I think Facebook is having trouble because people are getting tired of the fact that it puts ads in between every possible thing and they're trying to reinvent themselves. And so they just assume that, um, they just assume that everything in a certain category is bad. So, like if this is a business page, they're then, not showing business pages then they assume at all. It's bad. The only reason why you guys are here is because you knew we were already on at 4:30. So what we thought about doing, because we had a problem with YouTube a while back, although well, that's fixed now. Hold on, just a minute. Let me get this done. stuff okay and I'm dropping my thing <clears throat> okay go ahead <coughs> what was I saying oh well I just got the idea that if we had our own thing that was on our website that um, if you could watch it on Facebook or YouTube if you want but if for some reason it suddenly was gone then you know where to go to find it still Carol so, um Twitch um, is a thing that's used for mostly gamers. I don't think anyone really does any cooking or anything on there. I don't well, know. Do they do can. cooking on Twitch? It's, well, you can, but it's a mostly gaming platform. Like, <coughs> Might be a consideration, though. It's We're, we're not ruling out anything. So the newsletter. I will share the link to where to sign up for the newsletter if you want to get it. It's also in the show notes. If you go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes. But I'm sharing it here in the comments. Um... If you're using Hotmail or MSN, you might not be able to sign up for it because... Um, there are being dorks. Every now and then, Microsoft just suddenly blocks whole bunches of people. And it's not, it's not us they blocked, but it's the service that we use to send our newsletter. Um, and it requires... Our newsletter service will... Requires you to say, yes, I definitely requested this. And if you don't, then they won't sign you up. But uh, Microsoft is blocking the message asking you to confirm that. So if you're, but if, so if you have a Hotmail account, I would try a different email address for the moment while they get that worked out. Thankfully, they're working on that. We don't have to. <laughs> so. <clears throat> uh, so Jonathan. Hold on just a second. Let me sure. Try. says the gloves are a funny horror film like a sign like a mad scientist yeah. and sharon says you look like the mad scientist too. oh great here i was trying to go all well, valentine -y. i've never seen black soap to have a big bucket of black liquid <laughs> that's bubbling <clears throat> um oh yeah i forgot in addition to me sharing the uh, newsletter link here if you can't find it uh it's you can go to the uh, the website and it's on the right sidebar too. So. All right, so I'm doing a double batch of acne today, hot process. Ooh, liquid tar soap. <laughs> so this is the acne. The activated charcoal is what helps dry up the acne. Works great, which is why I keep selling out of it. <coughs> Had a lady buy eight bars of it this week. So if you got that on the apron, could you clean it? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's soap. It's uncured soap, but it's still soap. Maybe Very soap. good, Dave. Man, yeah. Dave, Dad, Dave's getting this soap down. Yeah, if you, well, I mean, the lie is already, like, hasn't it already mixed and calmed down? Well, it hasn't completely turned to soap yet. That's why oh, we're going to yeah, cook it, but yeah. Well, thank you, Crystal. I made a note of you now. We'll check it out. Also, I was thinking about Vimeo because we already use Vimeo for other things, and Vimeo doesn't do those. Yeah, our how to make soap e courses on Vimeo, and it seems to be working well. Which, by the way, is fifty percent off if you guys want it. Um. Actually, oops. Heather, I don't think I'm getting sick. I think I inhaled something <laughs> accidentally. 
So. All right. At least not yet. <laughs> Hopefully I won't. Oh, by the way, um, for those of you who are following the uh, bit about uh, lysine, I've been taking the lysine and the arginine for 10 days now, something like that. Yeah. And it has really helped a lot with kind of background anxiety. But the other thing is, lysine is antiviral, and I'm wondering if that's why I haven't, knock on wood, gotten what everyone else seems to be getting at the moment. So. so do your research, guys, before you do supplements, because one person emailed me and said that you can't take the arginine if you have heart problems. Yeah. So we're well, not doctors. This is just what's helping Mike. But yeah, we definitely research would do the research before you do if you, especially if you have any medical conditions. So okay, so now we're gonna let this sit so, and start bubbling up all lovely. So is it Jamie or Jaime Westerling? Uh, is asking is the charcoal is that charcoal you just used? It's activated charcoal. Yes, it's what they use in acne medicine to, you know, all the new charcoal stuff, ac charcoal medicines. Now what I do is I mix it in um, baby shampoo and make a tear-free face wash also, which I have on my website. The recipe for that if you want it. Can you write here? Do I dare see face what this wash. Is. Uh, here? Yeah. Do what? Do I dare see what this is? What is it? Oh, it's a monopod. It's like a tripod, but it's one leg. It holds a camera on the top. Right here. Where'd it go? And yeah. Do we have it on the website? Just been messing sure. around with it, like a staff. We have the video you made. Yeah. Didn't, yeah we... But didn't we have the recipe with it? They're too busy. I talking. don't recall. So I don't understand what a monopod would do though. How it does so, that help you? You still have to hold it. In places yeah, it, like the you know, Rocky does... Mountains and stuff, it's hard to set up a tripod that's straight up and down. So in this, it has this spike on the bottom, on the bottom, and then you can plant that in the ground, and your camera can be on here, and you can take pictures the thing is when you're holding it, it, it you have to hold it not from shaking side by side mm -hmm. and up and down and that keep, makes you only have to hold it one keep it from yeah. going side to side which okay so is this the, yeah. the face wash i thought we had a link to that you know, but you can just push down and then... here's a link to the video on my face wash guys hold on sorry i uh, click through to get to it um dun, dun, dun. hold on i'm getting it so we're going to be in Wiggins, Mississippi, March 11th at the fairgrounds at 10 a.m. Wait, what? Can't wait to see all our peeps there. <coughs> Don't Jonathan mean... is driving 10 hours from Florida to come see us. I think he's nuts. Don't you mean can't wait to see all y'all there? All y'all. Can't wait to see all y'all there. Yippers. I need to practice my y'all. It's not y'all. I need to practice eating people. grits. Oh man, I'm gonna be happy and about gumbo. that. And gumbo. Yes, that Lisa. Way. He just let a kitty out. <coughs> we have one cat now. <laughs> yeah, we went from three cats down to one within one month last year, unfortunately. Oh, that was depressing. Yeah. So Stormy's yeah. asking how you feeling, Big D. Ah, uh, I'm sick. Ah. Uh. My throat hurts, and I am coughing, but you know. COVID. Mom says suck it up and deal with it, huh? I have anesthetic mouth numbing medicine, so you know, that's good. <clears throat> um, oh, thank you, Jackie. I'd watch you wherever as well. I haven't checked you too much, but would switch. Um, I yeah. don't know what to do. We haven't been noting in the newsletter, but we were thinking we might do that. Uh, because relying on... When, when what we're doing is on social media... They can randomly change something that's that's not intended to hurt us, but it suddenly does. Oh no, and Amanda. Yep. It, Amanda. It's kind of the same way we we try to play nice with Google, but if, in the past, um, sometimes we weren't sure why it was that Google would love us, and then they suddenly wouldn't, and then they would again. Amanda <laughs> says she just ate Mexican, and it was awful. I'm sorry. What happened? That's wow. Mexican could be awful. I was going to say, well... I guess there probably are awful Mexican food places. Well, but, I mean, yeah. But, oh, thank you, but most Nancy. Most of that I've been to are great. I feel slightly better than I did yesterday, but I didn't do a whole lot today. I did the live stream, but I did computer work stuff, getting emails dealt with, stuff like that. But I've been pretty much sitting all day because I'm not feeling very good. <gasps> Tanya says we should go to the French Quarter to Cafe du Monde. 
You know, Café I have no monde. desire to go how to New Orleans. How do you say it? I wonder how you say Café du Monde with, um, with the um, Cajun French. <laughs> I have no clue. So I guess I need to see what why New Orleans is impressive because I just have no desire to go there. But I don't know anything about it. So I don't know if we'll have time to do anything, though, actually. We leave Tuesday morning. Um... But, um... Darlene was... No. Oh, Bumblebee! Oh, yes. yes! You got your mail! I did! Where is it? It's over there. I did get it! Thank you so much! All of the boys loved it! <laughs> kind of yes. yes, I'm so sorry I didn't mex oh. mention it. It was awesome. <laughs> Darlene wants to know, do you remember the soap that you made a couple weeks ago? Uh, that will be ready by the end of the month. She forgot what it was and she wanted to order some. And they will be on a cruise when it's ready. I had some white tea and ginger. <coughs> and Love Spell. Was that the two, maybe? I think those were the two that... And then the other two I made was the pomegranate. That failed, but I hot processed it and then it turned out. And then the... Um... Am I supposed to be showing your Etsy link? Yeah. Oh, oops. Um, okay, so Dave, down. We're yeah. about ready to start. Here we go. It is volcanoing. Woohoo! So they were wondering what would happen if they both started a volcano at the well, same time. Well, that's kind of what I was sort of wondering myself. <laughs> so here it goes. Look at that glorious volcano. Oh, it's just poofing up everywhere. Well, the so other one's do you need to get start. a spoon for me to grab the other one if necessary? Probably. The oh no, now the other one's going. Mike's getting out of the way. Hold on, I think I got it. Is metal okay? Yeah, very big metal one. Okay, got one down. Hold on. Mike's on the side here. Ooh, I got it. Mike is ready. Mike threw the computer into the safe zone. Into the sink. <laughs> Which would be safer than being near the soap, I'm sure. Share says Wiggins. Yes, I can't wait to see you guys. Two family. So guys, if you're on there, put your YouTube channels on, guys. Like, I know Florida and Two Family and Cat Lover, and I don't know if Bandana Grandma's on tonight. Oh, Jasmine. Um, so what have you been using? I use L Lysine. Here, I'll, I'll see if I can go find it. I use L Lysine and, what's the other thing? Arginine, L Arginine for anxiety. And it seems to be helping me. The, I've been doing I just, it too. I it found it. I, I'll see if I can find the... On our show notes, if you go to livingonadime.com and click show notes in the menu, uh, I have the links to both of them and also to a study that I found that said it was thought to... Or in the study, an actual scientific study, that they found that people <coughs> had success with it. That's why I tried it. Okay, so here it's going again. I've been having success um, too with the Okay, now here we go. So I'm going to share the link to just the, what the names of them are. And they seem to be like if you actually have a, a big problem you're anticipating, it might not help that. But for me, it's just the daily feeling like something is wrong when nothing is wrong. <laughs> However, like Tara said, Jasmine, uh, yeah, it was good. If, you, if you decide to try that, you might uh, <coughs> do some research on it just to make sure, because somebody told her that arginine can be harmful uh, if you have no, like, it's heart not. surgery or something. I'm just watching them both go But the lysine is great for uh, canker sores and stuff, too. Lysine is good for viral infections. Or at least infections. it is for me, but it wasn't until I took more of it than they told me to take. The lysine is for viral infections. Yeah, and canker sores usually are viral. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so if you have a virus, you can take a lot of lysine and that might help. It's the blob. I know, it's just going and going. <laughs> so Jessica, we don't have a Patreon page because we tried to do it once and people, it were really, people were excited that we were doing it, but in the end, it there were... The donations were really small. Like twenty dollars a month. That's but not it required worth the time. like it required five or six hours a week for us to try to maintain the technical part of it, yeah. and so it ended up being 
a lot more difficult than just offering our books and stuff. We spent way more time than $20 a month on it. And so, yeah, that was part of the problem why we stopped. Hey, Jasmine, by the way, if you want to email me, um, well, you can email us at editor at livingonadime.com or you can go to the contact form at livingonadime.com. If you have any specific questions about my experience with that, I can share what I'm, what, what I'm doing exactly. So this is stick blender hot process soap, in case you guys are wondering. I've done a ton of videos on this on my How to Make Soap on a Dime YouTube channel, so you can go check that out. Michael put the link in there. Wait, yes, wait. Dave? Um, Sorry, uh, the How to Make Soap, soap channel? Yeah. <coughs> Ami, I think it's Ami. Ami Arons, or Amy, I don't know, says, Tara, is that called multi-soaping? Ah! <laughs> nice. You are funny! Yes, it is. It's called Tara's out of her mind. <sighs> Hey, since okay, we're talking we about go. soap, I'll share the fact that it's it's not really a thing we've advertised at all, but we're, because of a mistake that Tara made on a video, she decided to mark down the how to make soap e-course, so yeah. I, I just shared the link for that. So, sorry guys about that, but I messed up. Well, Tara said it was on sale, and then it was like a month later or something before she published the video. Ooh, happy anniversary, Sharla and Randall. Married 37 years today from Ooh, Louisiana. Ooh, happy anniversary. Yeah, I'm getting excited. I'm shipping books tomorrow to Mississippi to get there. And then probably <coughs> 10 days or so, I'm going to ship soap. Because, of course, we have to pay for all of our suitcases on the airplane. So it's cheaper to ship them than to buy another suitcase. Yeah. Well, Lori Ooh. said the Lysine Arginine helped her sleep better. Um, yeah, that was my experience too. Oh, really? That was it why did. I was so excited because the first day I was like, oh! <gasps> yeah, he woke up and he was like a new man. I was like, thank you, Jesus! <laughs> Because I was going to start looking for another shed to live in. <laughs> Just kidding. See, I wouldn't that shows how that. much you love me. You didn't say another shed to put my husband in. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's rooting for it to blow up. <laughs> well, I am too, actually. This one is going pretty crazy. Ugh. Nancy says the soap looks like lava rock. Very cool. Yes. <laughs> Stormy says, I saw a live stream on Mardi Gras. Thousands of people in beads and braids. Wow. Yeah, I'll have to make a note of that. And uh, Deb says, Café du Monde is the best thing about New Orleans. Hmm. And I've well, heard of if it. we're there, I don't know if we can get down there from I've the airport. It, but I didn't realize it was in New Orleans. I guess we could take a taxi, <gasps> I suppose. Sheila Cooper says, I need some of that soap. You do. <laughs> I'll only charge Shayla Cooper $10 a bar. Ah, just kidding. That's my sister-in-law, in case you guys are wondering. Ooh, hey, your brother says Shayla just told me we can pay off our last credit card. Woohoo! Woo, good job. That is awesome. See, my brother is practicing what I'm preaching. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're the queen. <laughs> I know, I bet he's tired of me preaching after living with he me for 40 some odd brother. years. Um, Marie is asking, do you add a fragrance to that soap? Not the acne, I don't. <clears throat> and Sharon says it looks like something for filling potholes. Yeah. It works really well, actually. Whew. Okay, this is the point where I get really tired because it keeps bubbling up. And I'm doing it on purpose. When I stick blend it, it makes it bubble up, but it makes it cook quicker, so it's turning into soap quicker than if I just left it. So we're not sitting here all night for you guys, you poor things. Oh, Nancy's asking if you put fragrance in the acne soap. No, uh-uh. Not in the acne, I don't. Because a lot of people with acne have sensitive skin, and some fragrances can be irritating. Even essential oils can be irritating. Uh, Marie's asking, does that stain the sink? 
No, it does not. Or your washcloths. It shouldn't stay in your washcloths or anything. All right, I'm almost there. Woohoo! All right, I think I am done stick blending. Yay. Oh, there's Mr. Sicko. Hey, you were Valerie. Just smiling. Um, about you, you bought the Crockpot ebook and couldn't get it on another device. I can help you with that. Um, you can you, you go to livingonadime.com and go to contact and send us a message there. Uh, or I might see if I can contact you directly after the show. Okay, so I'm going to let it finish cooking for just a couple minutes here. Um, Reed wants to know. What is in soap that makes it feel so waxy? I never feel like I can get it rinsed off. I don't use bar soap or liquid Castile soaps because of that. Do you have soft that, water? Actually, it's the moisture from the glycerin. You can go ahead and lift it up, Dave. It's the moisture from the glycerin. Um, and it's not <laughs> what it is. It's the moisture staying in your hands from the glycerin. So you really shouldn't wash it off because it helps protect your hands and moisturize them. Make sure I got that contact. Okay. Um, well, also, if you use, if you're in a place with soft water, like when I used, mm -hmm. when we used to live in Estes Park, I tried to use soaps like Irish Spring, mm -hmm. and I could never get it off, and it would itch like crazy because I didn't get it off. Yeah. And if you're in a if you're in a, a, a soft water place, using cold water to get it off works a whole lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you have really super soft water like we do here in Colorado, it's harder. So Sandy's asking your mom how much lysine she takes, but I can tell you I, I take 4,000 milligrams a day, two in the morning and two at night, and I've only been taking half as much of the arginine, even though that study that's linked on our show notes page, um, they said they gave people the same amount of both. But I, I found that when I took like <coughs> two a day, which is what some people <coughs> said I should take, I thought this isn't helping at all for the, the canker sores. But when I upped it to four, it did for me. Um, and I just looked online because I was thinking, what's the deal with lysine? And there were these places that said, you shouldn't take it more than this much time. But then they would say, there are no known problems. <laughs> like, so why shouldn't I take it if it's helping? And somebody was asking, um, canker sores are a virus. They're from a virus. Yeah. There's a lot of people yeah, have. Yeah, they are. Yep, they are. Okay, so this is almost done. We're going to let it sit for two or three more minutes. I'm going to put it in my molds, which, uh, I am trying new mold liners. Again, I thought I had changed the soaping world with my mold liner idea, and it didn't quite work like I thought it would. I thought I'd revolutionized the soap making world, but this is another one that I'm trying. And we're going to see how this one goes. See if I can get it smooth. So I'm trying this one. That one's flexible. And then I'm going to try this one. This one isn't. Well, it's, it's flexible a little bit. But you can see it keeps its shape. So I'm going to try these two today to see how it goes. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Heather just asked, can I use any kind of essential oils in the soap or do I need to find some that don't say skin irritant? Can't seem to find it. Essential oils, you can use any that you want. Um, as far as skin irritant, the thing is you can't put it on just straight. That's why it irritates your skin. So once it's dissolved in with, or not dissolved, but once it's mixed in with the soap, then it um, is diluted is the word I'm trying to say it's diluted and so then it doesn't irritate your skin as much so that's the deal on that um I think since a lot of people are asking about the lysine I'm just going to share a link to lysine on Amazon <coughs> but you can get it at Amazon Walmart um grocery store or like our Kroger store has it health food stores have it it's all over the place it's yeah L lysine um and for the anxiety thing, I, there's if you go to the show notes, livingonadime.com, click show notes in the menu because there's three links there because I included this link to the study that I found. But I would Google it if you think you're going to try it just to make sure you feel good about it. Um, and another tip, if you get them from like a health food store, Walmart, 
the grocery oh. store, most of those places, what do I do? Sure, that's oh, I forgot good. about the enchiladas! <gasps> I am smelling them, oh. so. The thing uh. about them is if you cover them, usually. Yeah, they usually don't burn. You have, there's a lot of leeway because <laughs> they're covered. <laughs> they don't dry out. But thanks for asking. <gasps> oh. oh, they look delicious. Spectacular. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Does that look delicious? Here. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, I don't know if yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Mm. Yay, those look delicious. You want to get a plate and scoop you a bite? Sorry, I hate <coughs> You want me to make it look better? The production the crew union over here is saying I shouldn't be messing with the camera. I okay. can bump up the saturation if you want me to make it look better. One other tip real quick here on the vitamins. If you buy them from, like... Um, Walmart, your grocery store, or a Whole Foods type, not a Whole, well, I mean, you can go to Whole Foods, they're ridiculously expensive if you ask me, but, um, but like a vitamin store, you can usually return them if you have a reaction or they don't work for you. Oops. So that's in all of my many years and thousands of dollars of supplements. Hey, uh, that's a little tip there for you. A few people are asking about Wiggins, so I'm going to share our our link for that and actually um who is it that just said jasmine said i wish i could meet you guys i live north of wiggins if you if you can come to wiggins we're gonna be there on yeah. march 11. if you can make it that would be great so i just shared the link for that it's a deep south homestead spring gathering which is uh, another youtube channel that we like and we um do we some adore. collaborative things with them so we adore them uh, so Lynn, the lysine by itself, if you take the right amount, um, is good for <coughs> canker sores and viral things, but the other is recommended by that study for, um, the anxiety. However, there was a time where I took just the lysine and I felt better, which is why I thought to look it up in the first place. So you could try, but what I found on the lysine was... I was taking the amount Jill was taking and nothing was happening. And I ended up doubling it from what she had and suddenly I felt great. <laughs> so, but the other stuff together with it seems to be helping me more in my anxiety part. Um, <laughs> oh, so anyone, because a, a number of other people are asking. I, the L-Lysine, Jill's been taking it for, to prevent canker sores and sickness for a little while. And it's apparently, uh, antiviral to some degree. Hello guys. All right, I'm preparing for my next show over here, but before I did, I wanted to get this done. So these are my new mold liners that I tested. Now it has been five days because I got sick and couldn't get this filled. Oh man. Okay, so this one worked pretty good, but you gotta use some muscle to get it out. Now on these plain soaps, I don't think that'll be a problem, but I don't know about my fancy ones. So, mm, man. So it's a good idea, and it was super cheap. I got this stuff on a roll, and it was, I got it at the thrift store, it was $2 for like 20 feet of this. So while it's really good, it did take a little bit of pulling to get it off. Okay. Now this one here, you can see here, it just, it's been five days and it's just falling off. So this one, let's see, comes off super smooth, although I don't know why it turned white here. That's very odd. Huh. Okay, so that one just came off really smooth, but a roll of this was $20 and I may only be able to get one or two molds out of it. Now this is a silicone liner, so what I'm going to do is tonight I'm going to make some more soap and try it with cold process and see how it works. Wash them up, try them with cold process and see how it works and <clears throat> see if... Hmm. Those will work better. I am determined to find a better 
mold situation. But um, I am having a hard time. This is probably the fifth, no, probably sixth or seventh <coughs> liner that I've tried. So I am kind of questioning. Um, yeah, I'm kind of questioning it because I just don't know what I'm going to do for a liner. All right, there you go. That's looking pretty. I did find another mold that says it doesn't have to be lined that is not made out of the white stuff like my white ones were. And it's acrylic, but I'm not sure I want to invest the money in it if it's going to stick really bad. Because really, I need to get my soaps out of my old molds usually within 24 to 48 hours for the shows because people don't want to wait a long time in between shows to see what they look like so I don't know guys I am bound and determined to find a good mold alternative but it's taking me a bit to find it I know there's something out there and I will get it figured out but <clears throat> might take me just a bit so anyway all right guys that's it please give me a like share thumbs up subscribe I really appreciate you guys watching thank you um, I know I keep it a little too real sometimes but I just oh just like I just broke my <laughs> well there you go so Oh man, you guys gotta love me. All right, well, I'm off to fix my cutter because the show's on in an hour and a half and I need to do that. So <laughs> please visit us at livingiodime.com and we'll see you guys later.